Hey everyone, this is Steve Schmid back with another session about simple pump and hand pumps. Uh, today what I want to talk about is pumping effort. Uh, very often we get a question from our customers of how hard is it going to be to pump. We've got customers that age from their 20s to their 80s uh, and people that just have a different amount of, of physical strength. And what may feel easy to someone that's 25 and really strong may be very, very difficult for somebody that's you know, 75 and, and, and not quite as strong. Uh, so that, that's a, it, it's hard to communicate to a, any given person what it, the effort may be. Uh, we also have multiple factors that impact that, right? There's the water level. So uh, where you have a very shallow well, you're not lifting that water very far. So it's gonna be a lot easier. Uh, if you have a 300 foot static, well that's, you're lifting that water 300 feet. So it's gonna be a lot heavier. Um, we also have uh, the amount of, of volume per stroke. So if you're using our 200 cylinder at 20 ounces per stroke, you're moving a, a 20, 20 ounce column of water. It's gonna be a lot more difficult than if you're using our 100 CA, which is four and a half ounces per stroke. Uh, we also have two different lever arm lengths, uh, 24 inch and the 36 inch. So that leverage that you get between those two types of lever arms also will dictate the amount of force that's required. Uh, so Communicating in general, generalities when it comes to effort is very difficult. You really have to look at your particular well and your particular situation in order to understand uh, what effort's going to take. Uh, I think the, the, the main thing to understand when looking at hand pumps in general, not just our hand pump, is when you're moving that water, uh, you're lifting the water itself, so you have the weight of the water that you're bringing up out of the ground, and then you have the weight of the assembly that's moving the pump. Um, and that's where Simple Pump actually has a little bit of an advantage over our, our competitors is that our assembly weight is quite a bit lighter. Uh, we do have fiberglass rods that are covered in a drinking water safe resin, uh, which makes them obviously safe to put in your water, uh, but makes them very light. Uh, other hand pumps typically use a stainless steel rod. That stainless steel rod is, is quite a bit heavier than our, our fiberglass rods. Uh, so when you look at that total weight of the assembly weight plus the water weight, that's really the, the work that you're going to do uh, to get that water uh, out, out of the ground. Uh, obviously, the distance is, is a factor, uh, but that's one that would be the same regardless of the hand pump that you're using. Um, so when you, when you look at all of these factors, uh, you can determine, okay, what is the effort going to be? Uh, but again, it's not one simple answer. So what we've, we've done is we've created some charts uh, that actually give you the amount of force and weight uh, that it takes to, to move the water based on your water level, based on the pumping cylinder that you have, and based on the lever arm that you use. Uh, we did a blog article on our website. Uh, we'll provide the link for that so you can go look at those charts and we'll also give you a quick uh, snapshot of those charts here in the video. Uh, but those are really going to give you a good idea of, of what that pumping effort is precisely. Uh, now, are you going to know what 25.6 pounds of force is on the end of a handle? Probably not. Uh, but what you'll be able to see is that, okay, if I have very shallow static, it's eight pounds. And if I have a very, very deep static, it's 38 pounds. Uh, knowing that that shallow static is going to be easy for a child, an older individual, course anybody in between uh, but then you got to understand that, that 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 deeper level the 300 foot or the 30 38 36 pounds of of force that's going to be hard for anybody uh, you know even someone that's relatively fit and strong uh, but you got to realize that you know 300 feet's a long way so you're lifting water from a very very long distance uh, and the pump will do it it's just going to require a, a bit of effort um, if you want to talk about this more, you're always more than welcome to give us a call and we can walk you through those charts. Uh, but uh, that's, that's kind of a summary on, on what to expect with uh, how much effort it's going to take to pump a hand pump. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe.